actually been a good while since I wore my hair down in a video because all the other days I've just been trash. We got a good thing. Don't know if I'ma see you again. Hello everybody, my name is Amber and I am the Black Directioner. And you guys, look, look at look, wait, let me get a let me show you. Look at my shirt. I got myself this shirt for Christmas. And I'm so in love with it. Like, I just put it on for the first time before this video. And I've never been so in love with a shirt until I got this one. Speaking of Christmas, um, on Christmas Eve, I believe, I put out a video. And um, it was a Fairy Tales with Amber. And I had said that I wasn't going to be able to do a What I Got for Christmas until like February, March-ish because I ordered everything online and that was whenever everything was going to come. So that video is probably going to be here like spring break-ish um, for anybody who was wondering and it's going to be my first time doing a try-on where I try on my shit. I'm really excited for it. <laughs> okay, so we, <laughs> we got to discuss something that I want to say that a lot of people are really starting to realize happens to us a lot. So I'm starting to figure out, like I've been kind of sort of starting to figure this out, but it's really starting to dawn on me that people don't really get fangirls unless they're a fangirl. You know what I mean? I just told you that Niall broke his knee and you're just sitting there just staring at me like you're supposed to be crying with me. What What are you doing? It's, it's so known that nobody gets a fangirl like a legitimate fangirl. Or like fanboy, you know, you know what I'm saying, in that percentile. Um, just like how whenever your fandom goes through some shit, other people don't get that unless they're in a fandom, you know? And it's like, oh, well, people who aren't fangirls, you know, fanboys or whatever, don't know what fandoms are. I have many friends who still don't really get the gist of what a fandom is. I'm like, it's a fan kingdom put together. A fandom. <laughs> It's for the people that you are in love with. That's what a fandom is. And they're still just looking at me like, Amber, I don't, I'm, I'm not, I'm not understanding. What, what are you talking about? And I'm just kind of like, how the fuck do you not understand what I'm saying? You're supposed to be here for me. I've been a fangirl for a good while, honestly. I feel like, okay, as far as I'm concerned, the main thing that I used to stand were the brats. Y'all know what I mean? Um, so the Bratz era, like whenever they had their movies and whenever they had um, their TV show, I used to stand the Bratz so freaking hardcore, you guys. Like, I gotta do a video of that. I gotta show y'all my Bratz doll collection because, huh. Um, but um, I used to stand the Bratz, so it was in that era, you know, with the Naked Brothers band and the Cheetah Girls. You know, that's whenever I started realizing, yo, I'm not just this normal, oh my God. Galleria, you know, like, no, I was like, I knew Galleria's birthday, I knew her mom, <laughs> you know, like, I knew where she was born, what hospital she was in type shit, you know, and I was like, okay, this is completely something different than what everybody else is feeling, obviously. And then, you know, it just started to grow, you know, we made it to the Jonas Brothers, and I feel like once I made it to the Jonas Brothers, it was over with after that, because the Jonas Brothers fucked me up because they were the ones who legitly started what I am today and I'm not sure if I should thank them or if I should kick their ass because I enjoy my fandom but half the time I just be wishing that I could just sleep and be a normal girl but that's not in my future and okay if anything the main advice that I think everybody should get is I think everybody should get a friend that is also a fangirl or you should at least get a friend who is okay to understand what you're talking about i talk to a lot of fangirls and a lot of them tell me that their friends like don't really they don't really get it they're just kind of like okay you're overreacting you're doing the most you know why are you telling me this am i supposed to be crying too like what are you talking about you know and I honestly have been blessed to have gotten two of the best people in the entire universe, two more than that, but you know, uh, to let me 
fangirl peacefully and to let me fangirl to them and vent to them and they'll actually listen you know what i mean and they'll actually understand well they'll understand somewhat you know a lot of people aren't really on the level of fangirls you know fangirls are on a completely different level than than the entire universe like this is the universe and this is the fangirls like like we weigh out the picture like we weigh all on the ceiling and shit you know like we're we're completely different we're, we're not here we are not human fangirls aren't human and then it's like people don't understand what it really is to be a fangirl people misunderstand what a fangirl is and they'll sit here and say oh my gosh you're so fucking obsessed obsessed to me as a fangirl is a devil word and i don't like it and i don't appreciate it that and a groupie because i'm neither of them okay i'm like so because you know, I like the band a lot and I know a lot about them, everything. You're calling me a groupie? You're calling me obsessed, bitch? Like, no, I know what the fuck obsessed is. I know what the fuck groupie is and I am not that. So I'm gonna need you to go on Urban Dictionary and look up what the fuck a fangirl is because I'm not what you think a fangirl is. I'm not obsessive. I'm not, I am a crazy bitch. But I'm not, <laughs> but I'm not obsessive and I'm not a groupie. So go and get your facts straight because you're wrong. Okay, pause real quick, okay? I just searched on Google, fangirl. This is what the fuck it has the audacity to say. It says, fangirl, an obsessive female fan, usually of movies, comic books, or science fiction. Okay, so maybe that's not me, because I don't obsess over movies, comic books, nor science fiction, okay? I obsess over music. I obsess over music. So... I obsess over music. What? Are we obsessive? I don't know. I don't like that word obsessive. I don't think we're obsessive. But I low key feel like I just called myself obsessive even though I said I'm not. Okay, fangirl. Oh. <laughs> this is what the Urban Dictionary has to say about fangirls, okay? A rabbit breed of human female who is obsessed with either a fictional character or an actor. False. The people that I'm obsessed with are not actors. Similar to a breed of fanboy, fangirls congregate at anime conventions and live journals. See, I don't do that. I don't do that. Okay, see, they, ain't, they don't have the right thing. Fangirl, a female who has overstepped the line between healthy fandom and indecent obsession. There we go. Wait. Wait. <laughs> I don't know. Fangirl, a female fan obsessed with something to a frightening or sickening degree, often considered ditzy, annoying, and shallow. Okay, now they're just being offensive. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at this. Fangirls, female of approximately 12 to 17 years old, who are obsessed with some sort of celebrity, group, or bands. A popular belief, fangirls are not always to be confused with stalkers. Thank you! Can just be happy, excited, about the celebrity group band they are crushing on. However, oh shit, then there are dangerous fangirls, the kind that hound said celebrity group bands and annoy the fuck out of other people with their shrieks of OMFG. Fangirls very often give a bad name to true normal fans. Okay, so that one was kind of realistic, um, aside from the age group, bitch. I don't know why people like to put ages on everything, like really? Like, really? Like, I have to be between 12 and 17? Bitch, I'm 19 years old, and I'm a diehard fangirl. Okay, fight me. Now, that's the only one that I agree with, only for the part when they say fangirls are not always to be confused with stalkers, can just be happy or excited about the celebrity group or band they're crushing on. Now, that's me. Now, that's me, okay? I don't know. I just feel like obsessive is just such a strange word. Like, whenever I hear obsessive, I think of stalker. And I know I'm not a stalker, you know, whenever it comes to any of the people that I love. You know what I mean? So, that's why I don't like the word obsessive or the word groupie. Because groupies and obsessive people somewhat fall in the stalker category sometimes not trying to offend anybody but i'm just saying and that's not the percentile i'm in i mean i don't know what any anybody else is in but that's not the percentile i'm in that's not the percentile i ever wanted to be in okay you feel me disregard what i had said to go and look up the urban dictionary go on urban dictionary and look up what the fuck a fan is because the fifth fact 
was somewhat true. All the other ones just weren't, but they just weren't falling into my forte. I just don't appreciate the word stalker or any of that shit. Because that's, no. Because trust me, if I was a stalker, One Direction would know me. But pretty much the moral of this video is that what I'm really, really, really starting to realize is that um, fangirls get better along with other fangirls than with normal folks because normal folks don't really understand why you're fanning over this, you know, why something so little freaked you out. I'm a fangirl and I freak out over things, over small things. I use fangirl language <laughs> that only a lot of fangirls would truly understand and you know I have a fan page. So to people who have friends as fangirls, here's what you need to do. Be a supportive fucking friend because it's really hard for fangirls to find friends that aren't fangirls okay that's really difficult and it's really difficult for them to show their background selves to you you know like all my friends know i have a fan youtube channel all my friends know that i have fan pages you know what i mean because all my friends are cool with stuff like that all my friends don't mind me you know fanning or freaking out or venting to them about shit that goes down in my fandom so if you have a friend that's like that, you know, talk to them, you know, let them talk to you and try to understand as best as you can. You know, I feel like everybody stands something because it's really hard to find a supportive person for a fangirl from a fangirl's perspective because everybody thinks that we are fucking crazy. And even though half of us are, I'm on that side, doesn't mean that we don't deserve somebody to be able to talk to whenever, like, nobody else is around. You feel me? Okay, so that was the end of this video. Um... I think I stayed on topic, but I think I got off the top. I really don't know. I don't know where I was going with this video, but I'm somewhat satisfied. So, <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching. It's almost spring break. I don't know about y'all, but I'm so excited. I'm tired of school. I hate it. I don't want to be in it no more. <laughs> and, and I really need this break. And I think it's just going to be freaking awesome. If you are a fangirl, I want you to know that I love you and I got you. And if you need to fan about anything, hit me up on my social medias. They're going to be down below. And I got you. Remember to keep your head up and smile and always know that somebody has your back. Bye!